Um, you may notice that I have blue coloring on my hand, and that would be food dye because, um, well, I've do been doing some preparations for uh, another video, and food dye just does not come out. I've washed my hands about three or four times since I messed with the food dye, and it came off my palm, but not the back of my hand, so. And I'm wearing a sweater, a sweatshirt this time, because it's about 31 degrees outside, and my fingernails are purple. Like, they aren't as purple as they can get, but <laughs> if you ever want a, um indication of my body temperature, just look at the color of my nails. Because they turn like this color when I'm totally freezing, so anyway, that was a tangent. <laughs> I have a surprise today. A new camera angle. So, um, so. Today, we're going to be making something that I saw on Pinterest, and I don't know how well it's going to turn out because I don't know, there were some comments that people, you know, had issues with it, but we're going to try our best today, and um, if it doesn't last, like if it degrades or I have problems with it after I finish this video, I'll just leave uh, more information in the description. So if you do actually want to make this, I'll tell you with the problems that I ran into afterwards, um, you know, after the video has ended. So let's do it. You need a large jar. A large bottle <laughs> preferably transparent glass but um I just washed this so it's got a bit of you know condensation on the inside so you need a bottle some gloves clearly because you don't want to end up like me or worse you know it's it's possible for it to be worse <laughs> uh, cup or a bowl or something like that. Food dye. Of course. Uh, cotton balls. I grabbed this for the video and realized I tore it open on the bottom, but it has a zipper on the top, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to use it like this, I guess. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. And distilled water. And glitters. So, you need to prepare your, uh bottle by removing any labels that might be on it. Um, I found the best way to do it is to soak it in some hot water and some labels will just peel right off like that. A lot of them won't. So you use the hot water to get the paper off or the plastic depending. And then if there's gooey stuff, acetone works really well. Um, alcohol, you know, Isopropyl alcohol works too, but not as well as acetone, so. And, uh, see the black words, uh, you can get that off with acetone too. You just get some acetone. Take off the lid. It's 
like magic. So you have your bottle, it's been prepared. Okay, so first you get the cotton balls and you rip them up into little pieces until there aren't really like big blobs anymore. Then I just add food coloring, red and blue, to make purple because I wanted to start with purple on the bottom. And then I added some water so that it would coat all the cotton balls. Oh, and don't forget to put on gloves. It's really important that you don't forget to do that. You want to protect your hands, okay? And then you push down the cotton balls so that they're totally soaked. And then you take the cotton balls out. Put them into the bottle. And as you can see, I sort of made a mess there because the cotton balls are soaked with water. And when you squish them, they sort of explode with food coloring and water. So <laughs> that's nice. But, um, yeah, you just keep adding the cotton balls, and then I realized here that you sort of need to add the color into there, because you want colored water to be in the, in the bottle. So, cleaned up the mess, added the water, decided that I don't need that cup anymore, and, um, ripped up some more cotton balls. So I started putting them straight into the bottle, and then uh, it helps to have something to stick the cotton balls in, like I used a paintbrush, but you could use anything. And um, I, my finger actually got stuck in the bottle a few times, so be careful of that, because um, you don't want to go to the emergency room with a bottle stuck to your hand. <laughs> That wouldn't be fun. So I started adding the food coloring straight into the bottle and then water on top of that so that it sort of, you know, covers all the cotton balls. And then you sort of have to shake it so that it covers the balls. And then I added some glitter. Um, I think I added a little bit too much, probably. Looking back on it, but I mean, I guess it's your preference. And then I just sort of kept adding more water and shaking it like that to um, soak the cotton balls. A few times I got kind of lazy and I ended up not squishing or tearing apart the cotton balls enough, but I think it's okay. Then I started adding red because I wanted to have a sort of gradient of color. And uh, I added pink glitter, but I kind of regret that because, you know, there aren't really- you can't see pink stars with the, with the naked eye when you're looking up at the sky. So I don't know. I think silver is probably best. And I added yellow because I wanted it to get lighter and lighter. And then I decided that I wanted to make the neck a dark color. So what I had to do was really stuff the cotton balls in there to stop the spread of the food coloring um, downward. And I ended up struggling quite a bit with that. It seemed like the very, the top third of the bottle took up most of my time in this whole project because I just kept adding cotton balls and adding cotton balls and I kept needing more for some reason, so, I mean, I don't know, it's, they just sort of seem to disappear into it, honestly, it's like, I just kept pushing them down, so, I don't know, I mean, it wasn't like that for the rest of it. I really like the way the color gradient is so far, but I'm trying to stop the blue from spreading again. Because I realized that I didn't have enough cotton balls in there <laughs> to stop the blue from spreading. So I added more cotton balls. 
and more cotton balls. And at this point, I've only got like 20, 30 cotton balls in the bag. And I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to run out of cotton balls. Because <laughs> this is using a lot more than I expected. But... I used the um, paintbrush to sort of manipulate the cotton balls so that they would come off the sides and I could like get them saturated with color. And so I realized that the paintbrush is actually really useful for manipulating the cotton balls in there. When you get towards the top like this, you sort of have to shove them past the neck and then into this shoulder area of the bottle. and some sort of stick is really good for that because I mean unless you have like freakishly long fingers you know it's kind of a shame because I forgot to add glitter around the um, pinkish yellowish part and so there's sort of lots of glitter at the bottom lots of glitter towards the top but not very much in the middle but now I'm adding the last of the cotton and uh, more water, but it really would have been best, I think, to add the water before the cotton because, see, there's a bubble there. And now I have to use a syringe to try and get rid of it. And uh, now I'm finishing up, so... to make this as dry as possible because we're going to glue it closed so that it never escapes hopefully some people on a forum said that um that there's they put the lid on and it just evaporated out they said it took a few days that seems inaccurate to me <laughs> with the lid on took a few days I don't know but um getting our super glue how that worked but anyway now we have to clean clean it again to just leave that to sit for uh, a while and you know let the glue set and everything and just so you know the type of super glue that I used is a uh, sort of gel type so instead of being like that um, really liquidy stuff it's more like rubber cement or maybe like hot glue when it's hot and um, this works a lot better for stuff like this because it doesn't leave any air gaps. So you could use this or like silicone caulk or rubber cement maybe, or uh, hot glue would probably work too. So I'm just gonna let that sit there. Hello? So it's been about a day, I think, since I made it. And I like it so far that it's 
you know, the colors are staying relatively where I put them. It looks like some yellow is sort of seeped down here, so I guess that's something to keep in mind. Maybe only use two or three different colors, because it seems like using all these colors is probably kind of risky. Um, I think my glitter placement was a little bit poor, because there's a lot of glitter right here. But, you know. Um, oh, I think I figured out why the other people had problems with the water evaporating. I think they didn't soak the um, cotton enough because, as you can see, there's some little bubbles forming here. And I think it's because I um, didn't put enough water. And so the cotton balls are slowly soaking up water and it's just, over time it seems like it's evaporating, but really the cotton balls are just soaking up the extra water. So make sure you soak the cotton balls really well if you're going to do this. Because um, otherwise it'll probably start to look like the water's coming out of it. So. Overall, I think it's a good project to do. I think it looks really cool. And, uh... <laughs> well, it's definitely a conversation starter. Everyone in my family so far ha has asked me what it is. My mom thought that it was, like, something that you put in a bathtub. <laughs> and... I don't know. It's just... I think it's interesting to look at too. I've had it next to my desk and I just can't stop looking at it. So if nothing else, it's a conversation starter and something to look at when you're super bored. So good luck I guess if you try it. Anyway. Um, I hope you liked the video, and I'll update you on the longevity of this to see if it evaporates, if it gets moldy or something, um, if the colors stay apart like this. It'd be really cool if they did, but I don't know if they will. I mean... Anyway. <laughs>